Mr. Could, I do have one other comment or, or question because uh, I don't know that I got a really clear answer. Uh, Mr. Becerra mentioned that we, we have to make sure that we get this right, and I'm not sure there's any getting it right. What we could do is use the best technology that we have at the current time, and I'm sure 40 years from now it will be different, and we will say, you know what? If we'd have known this back then, we could have done this, just like we're saying that now about what we decided in 1980. Uh, and I think that's what this Blue Ribbon Commission is all about. So I have no problem with what the Blue Ribbon Commission is looking at. Right. But as I have stated, and I don't know that I got a clear answer from you, do you disagree with the Secretary of Energy that a geological repository, regardless of what you do, regardless of what processes you use, a geological repository will be needed at some time? Uh, I would never disagree with the Secretary. <laughs> That's why I qualified the question that way. <laughs> uh, stepping back again, you know, I understand what you're saying about well, 40 years from now, we have a different view of what's going on. You know, let me see if I can put it in, a, in, a, in the way that there has been extraordinary progress over the last 30 years with regard to computation, with regard to our knowledge about the basic materials, and with regard to transuranic waste, high-level waste, low-level waste. And I think given that right now when we're considering restarting, and we are restarting, and this administration has signaled its strong interest in restarting the civilian nuclear energy program, that it gives us a chance to take a year and six months from now to step back and say, let's find a better solution with broad support. That will end up in a geological repository. <laughs> Again, I, I don't want to preclude what the Blue Ribbon Commission might recommend. Well, if they can find something else, that would be wonderful, but... <laughs> Nobody believes they will, and nobody believes that's possible, that ultimately there's going to be a pile of gunk that has to go somewhere. Mr. Scott has a further question. 